As a designer, I always wonder how we use in design to enhance human perceptions from our surrounding environment. Working on fashion technology project gave me great opportunities to explore my curiosities. Sketches and books often give me countless inspirations. In this project, Soft Voss, I got three main inspirations that I'd like to share with you. In the past few years, I was fascinated about the emerging field of soft robotics. While traditional robotics that are made of rigid material, such as metal, plastic, in the contrast, soft robotics made with flexible material, which demonstrate new application opportunities, such as terrain exploration, task performance, and locomotion. Most of the soft robotics are made with soft material, such as coated paper, fabric, mylar, TPU, nylon, silicon rubber, etc. In this project, softballs, the main material I used is a silicon rubber, all called dragon skin. My second inspiration is nature. The best way we can learn how to design soft bodies is to look into the biology field and study how animals design their bodies. For example, octopus changing the body color for camouflage, magnificent fracking bird male inflating their right through pouches as breeding display, or puffer fish inflate their body for defense. This is air morphologies a project that I use silicon rubber to create a wearable mask that mimicry the puffer fish body shape changing. The third inspiration is a sun. Sun from natural environments such as the desert or ocean or electronic suns are inspiring me. Moreover, with technology, we can use sun to activate and control devices such as wearables. I also got so many inspirations from other designers. I like to call this type of inspiration as design research. The Dutch fashion designer Aries van Harpen is well known for her using technology with traditional old culture craftsmanship. In her work, Splash, she used two colors of water to find in the shape and direction of the water, clear and black. These two colors mixing in action inspired my design process. I always start with pen and paper. For me, sketching is a way of thinking, especially in the early stage of the design. 
Once I know what the design may look like, drawing become a way to examine the design decisions. Digital prototype in 3D modeling software could give me a quick preview of what the design result may look like. Moreover, the digital design software could help me to develop more complex shapes, which is difficult to achieve using hand drawing. With the digital model, I could start to physically prototype with the fabrication tools, such as a 3D printer. Physical prototype with soft material involves many trials and fails. Compared with the traditional rigid material prototype, soft materials are hard to anticipate and control. They are flexible and deformable. However, physical prototype is an important step. It helps me to make design decisions for the project direction. The realization of soft balls has three main components sound, control system, and wearable device. Sound material in this system is the input data to control the wearable device. The four sound material activate the four layers of feathers, which indicate blue, green, orange and red layer. Where to get sounds material? During the pandemic, I decided to record sounds at home. My kitchen became the source of inspiration. I used a big container filled with water and then I record some samples of water sounds using a hydrophone. I select four sounds material from the samples. And then I use a music synthesizer module called Morphogene to transform the sounds by changing its time, scale, speed, and splices. The control system of softballs contains hardware components such as microcontroller, palms, and valves. I use 
Chinese other food, Circle Playground Express, a Python-based microcontroller to program the system. The system converts the sun's information into real-time data to enable the air flow to the desired directions. For the wearable device, I use Dragon Skin Fax Pro, a type of a skin safe silicon rubber. I mix the silicon rubber with pigment and let them cure for about half hour to 40 minutes in the 3D printed mold. After several prototypes, the design is finalized. The shape of the module is inspired by birds. The retros is used for connecting the tube system and the red pouch is the inflating mechanism. Each module applied a sandwich layer fabrication approach. When the air inflate the red pouch, the bottom layer push the feather lift upwards. After each feather cured, we can take them out from the mold very easily. To test the design, I use an empty syringe to inflate one module of a feather. Before the mock-up, getting the measurements of the mannequin would be useful to know how many feathers I may need. During the mock-up, the first step was to find the arrangement of each feather.
In this process, the main goal is focusing on the overall design composition. After knowing the arrangement of the feathers, it's time to assembling them with the vinyl tubes. Lastly, we connect the tubes to the control system. Soft balls, a feather-like artificial skin, changes the shape by sound's information. The performance of the softballs is organic and natural. As a new kind of fashion technology, softballs enhance the overall interaction experience of sound and our body.